It's been a tough year this uh, year trying to keep up with all the incremental advances in AI. Steve Kovac joins us now with what to expect in 2026, given how busy and crazy this past year has been, Steve. Yeah, Andrew. And look, there's this bubbling trend in the AI model race I've been kind of clocking all year long. We talked about that race between these models that, you know, they do video or image generation. Some are better at coding than others or writing than others. They all improve, though, but they all generally do the same thing. And what we're really seeing here, guys, is a race towards the commoditization of these LLMs. And there are plenty of examples of that happening this year. I want to use Apple and Microsoft as sort of case studies here to show what I'm talking about. Neither of those companies have a real frontier model like OpenAI or Anthropic. So what they're doing instead is investing and partnering in those to make their products happen. Now, for Apple, of course, earlier this spring, they failed to launch that new AI version of Siri, and they started hinting that they're going to do partnerships with these LLMs instead. Now, Tim Cook was actually asked this last July on the earnings call if he thought LLMs were becoming commoditized, and he gave kind of an interesting answer here, commenting on saying commenting on that would give away Apple's strategy. But later in the year, when I met with him, I pressed him a little bit more on that, and he talked even more about partnering with these other LLMs. He told me, in addition to the current integration that you have on your iPhone now with ChatGPT, quote, our intention is to integrate with more people over time. Think about that ahead of that big Siri launch next spring. Now, Microsoft, they've been hosting Anthropic models, and they are also investing up to $5 billion in the company. They just announced that last month. They are also started using Anthropic for some co-pilot products in addition to OpenAI. Now, they also struck that new deal with OpenAI, which frees OpenAI up, OpenAI up to work with other cloud providers, while Microsoft can work with more model makers. I spoke with Judson Althoff. He's the commercial CEO at Over at Microsoft last month, and he told me customers are actually asking for more model options in his products. He also said they originally invested in OpenAI to make that a standard. Now they're doing the same with Anthropic. Now let's look ahead to next year, what all this can mean and this commoditization in action. We're going to have that Siri, the new version with AI powered by a third-party LLM, likely Google's Gemini, although Anthropic has been in the conversation, and it could be a future where you just choose your own model with in Siri. And also, I'm expecting to see Copilot adopt Anthropic for more features now that that relationship has tightened up. But look, it's becoming this sort of ultimate commodity. Users don't really see what LLM they're using. It's that product layer on top of it that is really going to matter, guys. So here's the question. If you do ultimately think that all these LLMs converge in some way that makes them a commodity, what does that ultimately mean towards all the investment that's going into that space? Not necessarily the productization of it, yeah. but the actual underlying LLM. Yeah, and that's what's interesting. I was talking with Frank Holland about this last hour. It's, it's We're going to likely see some consolidation. Like I mean, we're already seeing some winners bubble up. Jim Cramer is talking about this on Squawk in the Street yesterday, how the, it's really going to come down to Anthropic, Google, and OpenAI, and everyone else is going to kind of race for that fourth place. I know XAI just got that big deal uh, with the military yesterday, but we'll have to see how that forms out. But right now, it's just going to be people building their software layers on top of it and trying to productize it. Right now, Andrew, the best company at making products out of this is OpenAI, but we're starting to see hints that Apple and others are going to do it too next year.